blockchain is not gonna believe this. <laughs> oh hey, yeah, take a seat. How's it going? Wayne, nice to meet you, how are you doing? You good? Fantastic. Uh, you're my three o'clock for the switching service, right? Well, welcome to your new bank then. Fantastic. Um, as I said before, my name is Wayne Kerr. Um, I am the official assistant manager here uh, at this branch of TSB. Uh, that's the Tingles Bank, obviously. You hopefully have heard of us. Um, I just have to quickly deal with this. Sorry. Put like a, I'm away from my desk thing now for you. So I hear that you are looking to do as well. He says what your appointment says. You're looking to switch banks. You want to use the switching service. You heard about our hundred pound welcome bonus. Um, you're interested in taking a look at our debits cards, right? Okay, fantastic. That's perfect. Um, there are a few kind of rules and regulations that go with this kind of thing, but it's my job as a system manager here at TSA at TSB. I should say TSA, that would be weird. We're not like, we're not some kind of like front for the TSA, no, we're TSB, TSB, uh, Tingles Bank. Um, yeah, so we can spend some time talking to you guys about that. There's a few sort of like questions that we've got to go through to, to make sure that everything's up to date. Um, I have your, my, my appointment system here, but you are a new customer, so we're gonna have to fill out some details for you. You've got your bank card with you. Great, and some kind of like driving license or passport or some kind of like ID passport. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. So that's fine. You don't need to get them out for me. Just you just read them to me, and I can type them in for you. So let's just start from the first bit. First name, please. Man. Is that I E R? Spinning out for me, it's quite a long name. Um, I'm just, I'm just Wayne. That's like five letters, so you're like 15, 20 there, I think. It's crazy, but I mean, you know, we can't choose the name. Oh, you, you chose your name. Oh, well then, we can choose our name. Apparently, it's fine. It's all good. It's good to, it's good to know the people out there that have a sense of humour. Um, surname. Let's. Uh, hopefully, it's not quite as long. It's. Uh, one letter. Capitalized though. Make sure you press that shift key. Well, okay, well, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, dress, dress close, 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 And then just like a postcode for when you first search okay. Yeah. One, four, six, F, R, F, okay, oh, fantastic. Um, two more things then, because we have to run through an online, the switching service is basically completely automated. So essentially, if you decide to bank with us today and you want to go ahead and change from your existing bank to us, it's a completely online automated process. All of your standing orders, your direct debits going in, your direct debits going out, all gets transferred over automatically. And the really cool thing about the switching service these days, you may not know about this, but actually your old account details will always stay in your name. So if you ever need to, uh, like say your gran wants to pay you 50 pounds for your birthday uh, and she's still got your old details, those will always stay a link to this account so that it automatically gets paid into this account for you. You don't ever have to worry about losing anything. So it's actually a really nice kind of seamless service. I mean, I think it's pretty good anyway. So, um, okay, email address then. That's the one that they'll probably use to contact you to verify that you're interested in doing this. You have to follow the link and just approve it by typing in some security details. Uh, and then the phone number, oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, well, that's all the details need to start off with here. Um, the main thing for me is just to sort of talk you through the different options that we have in terms of debit. Um, we do offer credit services as well, but I mean, I don't know if that's anything that interests you at all. You already have credit elsewhere. Okay, so 
if you decide that you did want to get credit with us at a later stage or whatever, you can just let me know. Um, I'll be your, your manager for the branch and for you as well. We tend to try to keep things very personal so that anybody that you get a chance to speak to in branch, they will remain sort of like with you throughout the whole process. So, um, so yeah, if you want to talk about any credit services, we can go through that later on. I don't really want to do that now because we've got plenty to do with the demo card stuff um, and I don't want to like overwhelm you with too much information in one day. That would kind of suck. Um, and here at the TSA, uh, TSB, um, we need to really focus on making sure the customer is satisfied and the last thing I want to do is just like overwhelm you and make it really difficult for you to like work out what's actually going on or what we actually offer. So. Um, if I could just start by kind of talking you through the different options for, for uh, debit cards. We actually have three options um, that you can choose from today. The first of which is a um, debit card that has rewards attached to it. It's the TSB Reward Saver account. Um, and the way that essentially works is if you pay in a certain amount per month, and you pay a fee of, I think it's like five pounds a month, we can check the specifics if you're interested. Um, you get things like car, uh, not car insurance, but like car breakdown cover, mobile phone insurance, um, you like uh, international like health cover, like health insurance when you go over like a holiday and stuff like that. Um, and that covers like any any kind of phone up to a thousand pounds, so you're, you're covered for you know, pretty much whatever. Um, that's kind of like, it's basically an account where it really depends on, on your circumstances. Um, if you find that you are in credit a lot of time, or you know, if you're in the, if you've got a lot of money in the, in the black, basically, um, then that might be a good one for you. Or if you don't have these things elsewhere, if your car's not new enough to have its own breakdown cover, uh, if you find that you lose your phone quite a lot, these kind of things, you know, it's, it's worth kind of looking into, it's worth investing in. Um, we also have a kind of basic account as well, which is just a standard pay in, pay out, do what you want. You can have a checkbook if you want to, um, but mainly it's kind of uh, just not like a really old school account. It's the sort of thing that you might get if you didn't want to have to worry about credit or anything. It was just like a, an account that you wanted to put money into every month for a holiday or something like that. That's you know, pretty good. I mean, obviously we have savings accounts as well, so it's maybe not best thing for that but it's still you know pretty good um, and the third one that we have which is kind of the most popular one that we do it doesn't have any fees attached to it it has a five percent interest rate um, per annum APR that is um, on uh, anything up to five thousand uh, pounds so if you have five thousand pounds with us and you uh, have that in there for a year uh, then at the end of the year you end up with like I think it's like 25 pounds or something like that um, I don't know exactly how it works but I think that's about right sounds about right to me I don't know whatever maybe it's 500 pounds I'm not sure but it's a good percentage rate anyway um, and the cool thing about that account is that it's completely online so if you don't like doing the in branch kind of stuff and you would prefer to go elsewhere then you know it's online you've got an app on your phone and everything which is pretty cool so that tends to be ones that most people tend to go is that the one you're right that's the one you're interested in okay fantastic well I mean the good news is there's no sort of strict credit checks on that one but we do need to do a kind of background check on you using your credit history and your credit score to find out if you've any sort of bankruptcies or OVAs or anything like that um, to just to make sure that you are who you say you are you earn what you say you earn that kind of thing perfect okay so let me just open the quick page yeah. okay perfect so uh, debit cards can I just ask how much roughly per year you earn and that's uh, before tax before you get taxed at all okay really cool um, and can I ask you if you are employed or self-employed or limited company so you're a CEO then okay so okay, yeah, okay, okay. No, no employees just a so perfect 
Okay. Um, so, I mean, chances are you're going to qualify for this, no problem at all. You know, the, most of the time, as long as you have, um, I think it's like a minimum of a thousand pounds a month coming into the account, then generally you're fine, which is good. So, um, I'll just put that information into the system. So, how much do you think you would be paying in per month? Cool, okay. Um, and then, and I think that's pretty much everything we need. Uh, the only thing that I do need to do is just do the credit check. Um, and also, obviously, if it goes through, if you're happy with everything, then we need to go ahead and do the actual transfer, the bank transfer service for you as well. Um, so if you're happy for me to proceed, it is a hard check, which means that it is a check that comes up in your uh, credit history. And uh, if you are declined, that decline will be visible to other people who do check your credit history. As long as you're happy with that, I can proceed. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, um, okay. Okay. Wow, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Fantastic. So just a sec. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Just oh, I'll tell you now. Right. Okay, geez. Yes, you're through. You passed. It's all good. Y E S. That's what I was trying to type, so it's fine, it's all done, it's good. Um I mean, look, I'm a bank manager, they don't call me Wayne Kerr for nothing, so, look, it's fine, it's all sorted. Well, yeah, I did choose my name, yeah. Why? Wayne, good name, first name, strong name, Wayne, you know, it's a good name. Uh, and Kerr, because I tend to try to curb my enthusiasm as much as I can most of the time, it's difficult, but I do, I do tend to do it. Oh, you like it? Oh, that's cute. Thank you, dude. Uh, right, okay. So this looks like it's all going through fine. So if I can just have the details of your old debit and credit card, we need the uh, name on the account as it stands. Good. And uh, the sort code. And then the account number. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and then the expiry date on the card. And then the three digits on the back of the card, the CSV. Well, that one's really easy to know. Uh, cool, okay, fantastic. So that's all on the system. Um, I feel like we've got all the details that we need. Um, obviously it may take a little while for it to come through, but I, I'm pretty confident that you should be okay. This should be something that happens a lot sooner rather than later. So try not to worry too much. Um, I think it's going to be very, very easy for it to happen. Um, but that's lunch for me, so I'm going to go and have that. Are you done? Are we done here? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. So thank you so much for coming in. Um, I'm glad that you chose the uh, the TS, I mean, TS, TSB. Um, we'll see you again for what? Oh, credit. No, of course. Yeah. Sorry. Well, we do have some good credit options, but it's not my department. So um, I can. I mean. I'm sure that I could get somebody to help you with that. Uh, in fact, just ask out the back. I'm busy. I'm watching videos. It's fine. Just go ask somebody out there. All right. Cheers. See you.